Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Dude, we've got the bridge out impassable. Over. Hey guys, welcome to the Whatever Vlog. We're starting this off a little bit different than normal. Me kind of in a studio setting, kind of being the narrator today of today's vlog. If you're a brand new subscriber, thank you so much for clicking that little red button and subscribing. If you're watching this, would you subscribe? This vlog is dedicated to a week away at Pasha Lake Cabins in Ontario, Canada. If you would like more information, you can go to PashaLake.com and you can book your experience as well. This vlog starts, after my narration here, at like five in the morning when we packed our vehicles and we headed off. We took two cars, the Jeep and a 15 passenger van and two boats. us leaving Minnesota at like 6 in the morning vlogging with a GoPro Josh and I are riding together there's five of us five five of us going on a fishing trip to Canada we're gonna get we're betting on that we get searched that's our assumption. Definitely. Have you to Canada, such as pepper spray, mace, stun guns, tasers, switchblade knives? No. Is nope. that camera pointing at me right now? Uh, it's, it is, I mean, it's pointing at my face, not you. Okay, I'll turn it. There you go. I'm going to do it when you go that way, because... Yeah, okay. in at Pasha Lake Cabins and I'm just gonna tell you it was, I didn't know what to expect going there I didn't even google it uh, I had watched a few YouTube videos of the fishing there uh, in-depth outdoors did a piece on the fishing with Chad who's the owner of Pasha Lake Cabins here's the cool thing about Pasha Lake cabins in the resort is that you get there and then you drive to different destinations to fish and we're talking about fisheries that aren't fished by other people uh, like you're gonna watch the journey to our morning fishing and i can't give you the name of the lake chad asked me not to share it with you because you gotta go to pasha lakes cabins resort to enjoy that experience and so we hopped in our vehicles first thing in the morning, even though it was raining, we go into the lodge, the welcome lodge where we got all checked in and we're, we're like, hey, we're going, tell us the hot spots for some big walleyes and dinner size walleyes. And Chad goes, you guys are dedicated, which is another way of saying you guys are idiots. It's like when you're in the South and they say, bless your heart, whatever you just said or did, they are calling you an idiot for doing. Chad just called us an idiot and said, well, enjoy. We've been told we're extremely dedicated. The guy who runs the place looked at us and said, you guys are very dedicated. And here's why, because it's raining outside and it says 55 degrees. If you've never been wet in 55 degrees, it's, it's chilly. It's not awesome. But we have rain gear. 
We have rain gear, so we're good. How'd you sleep last night, Josh? Okay, not extremely well, but okay. We have a great day ahead of us in the rain. This guy, he's gonna catch a walleye today. I am. But he's not gonna throw it back. Last time I was in a boat with him and he caught a walleye. It was a really nice walleye. So here you go again. He threw it, he let it go. What? Here you go again. Why you gotta do that? No, these, these are stories. These, these are stories, right? You wanna know these stories. It's like the behind the scenes to the story. It creates the dramatic part of the video. Yeah, it'll be real dramatic when I outfish you today. Oh, I've never said that to anybody I've fished with. All of a sudden I'm getting this bad rap that people said I'm just, I wanna embarrass everyone fishing. Not true. That hurts, it cuts deep. It cuts, man. Whatever. They're saying that the bridge is impass. They're saying the bridge is impassable. Let's go take a look as we're out in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna walk down to look at the boat launch. We're we're out in the middle of nowhere. Rain is falling. This is not. This is not fishing like in the city. We are, I said it before, we are in bear country. Okay, this is, this is it right here. We are putting into here and gonna go around that. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> If you didn't catch that, okay? <laughs> if you missed it, you wouldn't have been seeing the footage of the drone from our complete trip to Pasha Lake Cabins. If I hadn't caught the drone, I caught it with my hand. We should have recorded that, but we didn't. We missed that part. But when I watched it back, it looked like we were butterfly 
catching or something, Josh with that net. We're gonna jump into some of the fish that we caught there, uh, but the audio didn't work. Josh and I are in the boat together. Collins, Shane, and Blake are in another boat. But a jig and a minnow, we let it down instantaneously. Josh hooks up a big one. Like you can tell, we're fishing about 40 feet down and he's cranking and I'm trying to videotape it so I just set my rod down. All of a sudden my rod almost falls out of the boat. I grab it and now we're both fighting a fish together, trying to get it into the boat as, as safe as we can. Josh gets his up, nets his, I follow just behind him. We double net it instantaneously, our first catch in that spot that afternoon. subscribe and you're this far in the video it'd probably be a great time for you to subscribe to our channel we're posting new content weekly typically I'm gonna wrap up our time here with you and me and our time at um, Pasha Lake cabins again you can go to PashaLake.com to check anything else out with Chad and Michelle and their amazing family and what they're doing in Ontario it's just it's, it's really cool we got a chance to go to the one lake I can tell you that we got to fish was Onaman Lake. We're, we are going to go fish Onaman Lake, but what is unique to Onaman Lake is you can't get your own boat on there. Chad and Pasha Lake Cabins has boats cached there. They're, they're, they're waiting for our arrival. However, you drive to it, you get out, and then you have to walk a mile and a half through the woods. We are on another adventure today. We are headed to Onaman Lake. We gotta walk a mile and a half that direction, which means we have to carry everything, which is not a big deal. We got this cart to help us get down there. We got a lot of complaining about the loading of the cart. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of complaining. A lot of wah, wah. Yeah, right here, the culprit. The guy that, the guy that buys a, a here, he bought a hoodie today, but he wants to leave the tag on. Yeah, because I might take it back. journey to Onaman Lake, you get a sign that says you're 500 meters away. I'm not sure how far 500 meters are. Does anyone know? It just means we're closer than we were. But at least it lets you know you're on the right path because you question it the whole way. Josh, how we doing? Good. How's awesome. that foot? Foot's fine. Collins, how you doing? gonna get there you arrive and see the beauty of the lake loading gear up to the boats getting out there gotta catch dinner today Arjun big why After a long day of fishing in the wind 
on Amun Adam Anamin Lake in Canada. We have successfully beached ourselves here on some point. Getting it done. 